What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Andre Cortez versus Alexis Del Bosque fight, which uh, recently took place over the weekend over in Vegas in the undercard of the Oscar Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson fight. You can actually watch the whole entire event right now on ESPN Plus. So just go to ESPN Plus and uh, you can watch the whole card there on replay. Um, to those who don't know, I was over at the Garden over the weekend. Uh, at the Taylor versus Serrano fight, so I missed out on the undercard of the uh, Stevenson versus um, Valdez fight. So uh, I'm just catching up, and uh, this fight was one of the fights that took place in the undercard. And uh, Cortez ended up winning the fight by knockout in the the sixth round, and it was a very entertaining fight, back and forth action between the two. It was mainly Cortez having the better moments, uh, landing the cleaner punches, landing the more effective punches. Uh, Alexis Del Bosque, man, I gotta give him props because he showed a lot of heart and determination. But in the end, just got hit with a big shot, which led to him going down. And I think he got, I think he went down before this too. I can't remember. I know there was a lot of back and forth between the two, uh, but it was Cortez mainly getting the, the better of the exchanges. Uh, and in the end, Cortez won the fight by KO. Uh, in, in round number six, remaining undefeated, 17 and no, 10 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. It's definitely time for Andre Cortez to step up. I hope he tells um, top rank that he's ready for 10 rounders at least. I think he's ready for definitely a 10 rounder. He's fought, he's fought uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight scheduled eight rounders, which I think it's time to level up. You know, it's time to uh, step up to 10 rounders. Um, Cortez is at that point of his career where he needs to step up in competition to uh, to show what how good he is. I know he had a good win against Genesis Cervania. That was a pretty good win. I'm not gonna lie, but you know he he needs to fight, start fighting better names. Um, I'm not saying that Alexis Del uh, Bosque is not you know it's it's a bad name. I'm just saying that. You know, it's just time for Cortez to, to really test himself by stepping in there against, uh, let's say, another young up-and-coming prospect, you know, or a very good veteran who still has maybe one fight left in him. Like I said, a 10-rounder would be nice for, for Cortez for his next fight. As for Alexis Del Bosque, 27 years old, showed a lot of heart and determination, toughness, uh, kept fighting back, but in the end, just getting hit too much. Uh, I think he suffered even a cut uh, over his left eye, I believe, if I remember correctly. But yeah, the punishment took too, was, was just too much. He got hit with a big shot, went down, and um, he suffers his sixth loss in his pro career. I mean, he had a good winning streak going on for him, except for that one draw. So maybe it's just back to the drawing board, try to rebound from this, bounce back, and uh, you know, hope and pray that he gets another opportunity like this, fighting on a bigger, on a big card in a big event. So. So yeah, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Again, it's on replay uh, on ESPN+. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.